welcome to the University Life, the ultimate student's survival guide. Now, if you're doing a real degree, you'll still be doing exams right now. Let me tell you, it's not a fun time. If you've already finished your exams, screw you, you lucky son of a- So yeah, exam season can be a really stressful time and, you know, when you're right in the middle of it, you've got, like, so many exams to do. It's time of year sucks. Sometimes you can struggle to find that motivation. So, I thought I'd just do a video with uh, my five top tips on how to stay motivated during exams because it's a tough time, I know what it feels like and if I'm able to help you guys out in some way then yeah, it made me pretty happy. Right, so let's get into it. Right, so my first tip is first things first. So what does this mean? So as the name suggests, it's getting the hardest things done first in the day so that you don't have to worry about it later on in the day. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I feel like my enthusiasm and my energy is slowly drains throughout the day. So yeah, this little tip, it sort of makes sense really, like when you get up, you're, you're nice and fresh. As soon as you've had your breakfast and had your shower and whatnot, yeah, just get, you know, get stuck into it. You'll feel really pumped for the rest of the day because you know you've got the biggest obstacle out of the way so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, that's all you can say about that really, just get the toughest thing done first and then the rest of your day should get smoother. What? This first little tip leads me quite nicely into my second tip, become a morning person. Right now, I, I don't care what bullshit you give me, there's no genetics that says that you're a nighttime person. People like to say that thing, it's like, oh, I'm not a morning person, but you know, you're just making that up, like, who, who said that rule? The only rules that you're confined to are the laws of physics and the law of enforcement. As long as you're not breaking any rules and shit, you know, you can do pretty much whatever you want. So yeah, training yourself to become a morning person is so good compared to nighttime because, let's face it, your exams, a lot of the time you will have morning exams. I mean, I've never heard of an exam at like 10 p.m. so being a nighttime person is not really going to help you out. So let's say you do have that 9 a.m. exam. <laughs> what do you want to be? Do you want to be that person struggling to get out of bed, really groggy and, you know, just not up for it? Or do you want to be that person that's already been up for a couple of hours revising and they feel really prepared? If you've got any kind of a brain cell, you know, you're going to choose option two, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. Like, if you actually look at a lot of successful people's lives, you will find that they tend to be morning people. I'm not saying something ridiculous, you know, just like six or seven. Let's say you typically wake up at like 10 a.m. or, you know, God forbid, 1 p.m. And just, just work on it day by day, you know? Take it slowly. Move the alarm back just an hour every day or half an hour. And you'll eventually get there. Uh, it might not help you out if, let's say, your friends want to go out. It's actually so good to get up at like 6am because by midday you've done so much. Like, honestly, do it for one day, you'll realise how much you can do in that time and you're like, shit, I would have woken up at this point and I pretty much done it for it. Yeah. I mean, by 12 o'clock you'd be like, shit, I used to wake up at this time and I've already done everything I needed to do today, so... Yeah, just, just give it a try. Right, tip three, just f <laughs> do it! <laughs> So the famous philosopher Lao Tzu once greatly said, Do the difficult things while they are easy to do, and the great things whilst they are small. A journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. Ah, oh, so good. So as you probably fucked up on the first part, uh, <laughs> there's a really good message to take from the final part. A journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. What this basically means is that you know, whilst the task might seem really big and you're like, oh my god, where do I start? You know, it's got to start with that small step, like, you've got to do it. There's also another quote that I quite like which goes nicely into this, it's like, once you start doing it, before you know, you're already halfway done. And there's quite a lot of truth in that, so like, whilst it's a really daunting task, you've got that little thing in your head, that little voice, you know, it's like, mm, don't do it, don't do it, <laughs> stay in bed. Your brain's a little bitch, okay? It's, <laughs> it's gonna try and do everything to make you not do it because, you know, that's just how we're evolutionally programmed. If our body doesn't want to do something, it's gonna try and make us get away from it. So every time you got that little voice in your head saying, no, don't do it, you can do it later, just, just do it. So yeah, I like that tip. I like that tip. Move on to the next one. Okay, so tip four is just slow it right down. Alright, so we're not slowing it all the way down to like Dido levels, because let's face it, we don't want to kill ourselves, but whilst it might seem counterintuitive, it's actually a really good tactic. Sometimes when you look at all your work and it's like entire bolt, sometimes it can just seem like such an overwhelming thing that you just feel like there's no point even trying. I, I get that, I know what it feels like. So if this is happening to you, you've just got to really slow down and pace yourself. Just focus on one thing, put all your effort into understanding that one concept before you move on to anything else. And I know in your head you're thinking, but I've got so much to learn, like I can't spend this much time on this small piece of information, but trust me, like rather than focusing on the time, just focus on the work, 
right then and there. If you chose this degree, there's a good chance that, well, she might not think it now because of exams, you probably find it quite interesting. Find an interest in it rather than thinking, oh, I have to know this for an exam. Just, just take it at face value and be like, yeah, I'm going to learn something today. Might give you that little confidence boost to slowly stack up your work. So yeah, just give it a go and hopefully it'll work for you. And so the fifth and final tip is, why are you doing this? This is often the most vital and the most overlooked question that you need to ask yourself during this period. It's so easy to get stuck in the moment and think about the exams and get stuck in this little bubble, but what you want to do is just take a step back and look at the big picture. Just remind yourself, why are you doing this? Is this degree the step that takes you to that dream job that you'll be happy doing every day for the rest of your life, maybe? Are you just doing it because, you know, you really want to learn about the subject and you just want to enjoy yourself? Reminding yourself of what the big goal is and what you're doing this for can often just give you that little bit of motivation. It can put you back in place, back in check, and just be like, yeah, that's why I'm doing it. And sometimes that's just enough to get yourself through it. And there we have it. So these are little tips that I personally find help motivate me in the exam period. Just to make it clear, this isn't like some, you know, cheat way to magically do well in your exams. This is just, you know, how to cope with the stress and motivate yourself. Keeping the goal in mind and building up good habits in order to just make the whole thing happen a bit more smoothly and put you more in control of the situation. So on that note, I think you have gone and earned yourself. Five life points? Question mark? Right, I've said it. I've said it. I've set the precedent. I'm gonna have to force myself to change it now. But yeah, if you made it to this part of the video, thank you so much for watching and, you know, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and if you think one of your friends might find it useful, sh share it with them. Yeah, if, if you're new, subscribe, join the union and it's a tough time but you can get yourself through it. I believe in you. I know the video schedule's not been too great, I want to apologise for that, but you know, it's exam season, I'm sure you understand, but yeah, good luck with your own exams, and I'll see you in the next one, so, bye. <laughs>